everyone, I'm just starting my day. It's around 7 a.m. and I'm going to the hospital right now. I couldn't film earlier because Rusha was sleeping, so I wanted to make sure I could still let him sleep. The commute is around 40 minutes, so let's go. Welcome to my side of the day in life. For the first time in the week, I don't have a class at 9 a.m. So I'm very happy for that. My class is actually at 1, so I have a lot of time before that to get some assignments in, get some prep in, and also do some workouts. So I'm going to go run my 5K right now and then head to school, finish up my assignments right before class. The worst part about running in the morning is running in the morning. I literally hate doing it every morning and I've been running for so long. I don't know when this will ever stop. Hey guys, so as I'm eating breakfast, I thought I'd give you guys a quick overview of what the day is gonna look like. I obviously didn't wake up super early at 9 a.m., but I didn't have any class for the morning, so I thought why not give myself the extra rest uh, to get myself through the last legs of the week. And essentially, this day is gonna be a lot more chill than some of the other days that I've recorded for you guys. I really have like a lot of studying and meetings to take today. Uh, we have an exam coming up soon. I also have one class in the afternoon, which if you watched Nimitz Day in the Life, you'll know what it is. It's called case-based learning. After that, I have some study sessions planned with some friends. To be honest, this is more of a wait and see type of day where I'm not really planning too much. I'm more so looking forward to what the day has to offer me versus sort of scheduling and planning everything. Okay guys, before I head out, I'm gonna lock in and get some work done. I'm gonna get some medboy stuff done, write some scripts, film some videos. There are also some secret things in the work for you guys. So make sure you stay tuned, follow us, stay up to date with us to make sure that you don't miss out on those secret things we've got planned. All right guys, I just got to campus. I bought a large iced coffee. The line is really long, but it's worth the wait because it's a three hour lecture after this. I have some time to work on some of my assignments right now, so I'm gonna do that and then go to my lecture. The time is now about 11.41, so now I'm gonna head out to campus and get a quick change of scenery and get some other work done. Okay, so we're back from the hospital now. I couldn't film much because it's been so busy. First, we went to lunch, me, Ronesh, and Tony, and then I came back and had a meeting about a research project over the summer. It's really exciting. I can't really talk about it much, but it's something that I've been thinking about for a long time. So now I have to study. I have a test again tomorrow. You might be saying, Nimit, I saw the last vlog. That one also had a test. How many tests do you have? So we have a test every two to three weeks. So almost every vlog I do is going to have a test. I'm sorry guys, I can't help it. So I'm just going over the content for that. So I have my lecture open on this side and I have my notion on this side. We have a review lecture every Wednesday before our Friday test. So I'm just going over that review lecture. I'm hoping there's no new information. You guys are all watching this and I'm over here studying. So let's give you guys a quiz as well. So what are some of the factors that are associated with atypical disease presentation? There are five of the main ones, but you can list as many as you want in the comments below. 
The first five people to list out all the factors get a discount code to the next worksheets that are coming out very soon. It was literally so bright when I woke up and all of a sudden it's snowing like crazy. Honestly, that's just Toronto for you guys. So it's around 12 o'clock guys, I'm at the Med Lounge. I'm gonna quickly walk you guys through the CBL case that we have or case-based learning like I mentioned earlier. To give you guys an idea of what we're studying this week, we're studying respirology. So that's the study of the lungs. So as you can see here, these are what the symptoms the patient presents with and what we find on our exam. And this is kind of what it looks like. So there's also the history tab here, which is kind of like mimicking the dialogue that a patient has with the doctor. Anyways, I don't have too long before my CBL starts. I just have like an hour or so. So I'm going to quickly get through the case, review it, make sure I know it pretty well. And then I'm going to walk over to Mount Sinai where I'll catch you guys next. All right, guys. So uh, as I was reviewing my CBL case, um, Ardevan walked in. Uh, we sort of planned to meet up today. Uh, so Ardevan, could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yes. So I'm a second year medical student from the UK. Um, I'm here visiting my cousin who's a law student in, in the University of Toronto. So I thought, you know what, while he's studying, I'm just going to roam around the med school, get to know people and expand my network. Um, we also have a platform called MedX on TikTok. It's at MedX underscore originals. We basically do the very similar things to what the med boys do. So it's a, it's a very small world to live in. Um, it's fantastic to meet you. And uh, yeah, check out our page. Yeah, of course. We had like a really wonderful conversation today. So yeah, anyways, now we're going to get going to the hospital. So guys, I'm here with Shu Patel. Shu Patel, another YouTuber at, at the UFT Med, and wow. obviously Artivan has joined us. So I just finished my first three-hour lecture and now I have to prepare for a presentation that's in my next lecture. I also need to go to the gym right before my lecture. So I'm gonna quickly prep right now and then head to the gym. I've been studying for three hours now and it's been so tiring. I made myself a cup of coffee. It's around 5 p.m. right now. And I just hope I can get through all this content before tomorrow because the test is at 8 a.m. and I need to be ready. All right guys, so CBL is done. We learned a lot about lung cancer, thoracentesis, and all the different lung issues that someone can have. Now I'm off with my CBL group to study at McCall, which is the study space we all have. And this is my friend Ilya, guys. Say hi, Ilya. Hey guys, we're all going to study now. Right, Ushul? This is a temporary faculty of medicine from the side, guys. Notice how it looks a lot better from this side. So I got to McCall, found a study room, and we just hammered out a bunch of studying for five to six hours straight. And it was pretty tiring, but I got a lot of work done. Okay guys, it's brutally cold outside, but I'm heading out to play badminton. My friends convinced me I didn't want to go. So if I get sick, it's their fault. So I finally finished class. We had a presentation. We were actually pitching an idea for a startup that we'll be working on for the next few months. Uh, it was actually very exciting, but I'm really tired. It's currently 8 p.m. I'm gonna head home now. It's about an hour long drive. I'm gonna listen to some podcasts. It's so cold outside. And what's funny is I left the house with 12 degrees Celsius weather outside and it's currently negative three outside. I don't get it. It's only been eight hours. I finally finished all of my studying. I think I'm ready for tomorrow, but I have to get on a call with Naman to talk about some medboy stuff and discuss other things that we have going on. All right, guys, I didn't get time to update you guys because I had to come home, join some meetings and finish some assignments. I'm done all of that right now. And I'm just meeting with Nimit right now. Hello, everyone. Nimit, do you want to say hi? Welcome back to our medboys video. <laughs> 
So I just finished the call with my men and it's pretty late now, so I'm gonna go to sleep. I am going to read the Elon Musk biography because that's the book I'm reading right now. And hopefully the exam goes well tomorrow. Wish me luck. All right guys, as you can probably tell by my face and my voice, I'm pretty exhausted right now. I've finished pretty much everything that I needed to do. I've done all my assignments. I can go to bed now. I'm actually gonna do some reading right now. I've been taking inspiration from Nimit because he mentioned that his quality of sleep has been a lot better since he's been reading before he goes to sleep. So I'm gonna give that a try today. Now I'm home from the call after a long, long day of studying. I just cleaned up for a bit and shaved for tomorrow because I have clinical skills. I have to wake up really early to meet the doctor. And I'm gonna keep this short and sweet because Nimit's about to fall asleep for his important exam tomorrow as well. I don't really have anything left to do, so I'm going to wind down and watch a show called Jack Reacher. And Nimit's been really wanting me to watch this show, so I'm going to give it a shot. And yeah, like I said, that's pretty much it for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this different style of video where you got to see uh, our lives from three different perspectives. Uh, it was really fun filming this, and if you liked it, please like and subscribe. See you guys next time.